Llamas and alpacas, welcome to Live the Next. I am Livy, and today we are having something a little bit special. A little bit, it's very special. And you know me um, releasing my fandom of Parappa the Rapper. And there has been several rumors and teases about a third Parappa game. So, with that being said, I am going to go over my top 10 hopes and ideas for a third Parappa game. Now, just so everybody knows, this is all opinionated and just wild guesses. Like, none of this is confirmed by the company. It's just some fun ideas and fun fonts. All right, so here we go. At number 10, I really don't think this is gonna happen, but it'll be kind of neat if it did. Um, it would be neat if there, it was on um, multiple consoles. Like, it, I know it is um, very well known to be a PlayStation game, but I think it could have been neat if they had it on, like, you know, Wii U or Nintendo DS. But stick to PlayStation because that's where it all started and what it's well known for. So, but I'm just saying it, it would be pretty neat, but I already know it's not going to happen. And at number five, not, uh, number nine is, is nostalgic comebacks. Now, what I mean by that is, um, like, have some, you know, Easter eggs or flashbacks of what happened in the first Parappa the Rapper game, since that's the most legendary game. Not that there's anything wrong with Parappa the Rapper 2, because that is also a very good game. But I'm talking about the first and legendary and well-known and most nostalgic. So, like, maybe if he remembers, like, when he broke the car or when his bowels moved in front of Sonny, even though those are things he probably does not want to remember. But we know that he should be older in the third game. But, you know, I just think it would be pretty neat to have some nostalgic comeback. So, so you'll be like, oh, I remember that happened in the first game. That is so awesome. But, yeah, that would be pretty cool. And at number eight, new main character. Like, maybe a, a character that's new that you hear about a lot more. Like, um, as we all know, in the Parappa the Rapper series, the main characters are Parappa, PJ, Sunny, Katie, and Master Onion. But it will be kind of cool if they, maybe they have someone move into town or somebody who's a sister to someone else, you know. It would be kind of cool if they would have some new main characters, kind of like what they did with Parappa the Rapper 2. Like, they introduced the characters from Um Jammer Lammy in it, which I thought that was pretty cool to have those two worlds collide because their worlds never left, if you know what I mean by that. And at number seven, this is an absolute must. It must have a good story. It can be silly and even stupid, but it has to be very good has to be very good and what I mean by stupid I mean like very 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 silly not as in a bad story but um like the story should be fun it should be somewhat adventurous it it should add on to the series be like a continuation not just a random story like some things unfortunately had happened and at number six they have to stick with the classic flat animation and what I mean by that is, don't try to make it all 3D, like, just keep it flat because that's what it's very, very, very well known for. And, and it's also been rumored that there's going to be a Parappa the Rapper movie, and, um, and they said they will do it with the classic flat animation, which actually made me very happy because that's what it's well known for, that's the iconic version. That's what it needs and what it needs to stick with. And at number five, anime cutscenes. What I mean by that is kind of like what they did in the PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale in the story mode. Like even though it's not animated, it's just pictures, but it was drawn like like the Parappa anime of the little cutscenes at the beginning and at the end. But maybe all through, like, have the same anime but maybe animate it. And um for the cutscenes. I just think that would be really neat and really cool since I love the Parappa anime and they came up with a new Parappa anime which made me very happy and especially since it's his 20th anniversary so they need to do some stuff that try some st new stuff but stick with the classics.
And at number four, have the anime characters included. Like I said, the first um, Parappa anime, they had some characters that were never introduced in the game. Like Matt Major, Paula Fox, Pinto, Gaster, and, and Gruber. Like, those are the characters that are in the anime, but not in the game. But I think it would be pretty cool if they start, like, adding them in the game. Because I would really like to hear what their um, English dub would sound like. And and they were also very awesome characters. And I think it would be a good idea to add them to the game. And a number three. Kind of like what happened in the Parappa anime. Like, giving them a newer design. Like, um... Like I said, if they were going to have them be older, maybe like give them different clothes. Like I already saw they gave Parappa a, a new look, with, but he still stayed with the classic. They just gave him a different shirt and an apron because he works at the sushi shop. But it works fantastically. And if they do that with all the other characters, like not really a big ass change, but, but a good change. Like like different clothing and maybe their hair being longer or or maybe more makeup for some of the girls you know something cool like that and number two kind of similar to what i said at number seven is a continued storyline like yes have it be a good story but have it like include what happened in parappa the rapper one and parappa parappa the rapper two like, have it continued and have them remembered what happened during those two games. And, um, because we don't want it to be just a random story. We want it to continue and have them remember, give them a memory and a story and a life. So, I think that would be pretty cool if they, like, remembered what happened in the other two games. And at number one, the, they used the classic mechanics plus some. What I mean by that is, you know, the cl classic repeating the beat, but also maybe something new, like, like, um, like maybe a free roam, like you walk to the, um, to the teacher instead of waiting for the story to do it for you. Like, you walk around or maybe you do some good deeds for the, for the other characters. Like, like, I think that would be pretty unique, but also stick with, with the main gameplay be repeating the beat. So those were my top 10 hopes and ideas for the third Parappa game. Tell me in the comment section below what you think of these ideas, and if you have any ideas of your own, let me know, because I would be very well likely to know what you came up with. And I really love this game, and I'm really excited to be doing this on the channel. Because it's a big game in my life, and it holds a very special place in my heart. So I'm very excited to be doing this on the channel, and thank you so much for the support you're giving me on the Parappa videos on the channel, because it really means so much to me that, um that something from my childhood is now being brought up again on my channel so thank you very much but if you really like this video hit the like button and if you want to hop aboard the alpaca bandwagon subscribe and if you didn't like it i'm sorry and follow me at live foxy Taurus on twitter and twitch because i'm on twitter twice for seven and at twitch i visit live streams don't be shy to say hi and i also host my own live streams but this was livy this has been live next i'll see you next time my friends see ya